So one day I'm texting and I'm sitting down and I'm like, oh gosh, we need to get healthier. So I text Leon and he's like, I think we need to go low carb. Dude is like, keto, keto. <laughs> What up, what up? Hey! Leon and Dot over here. And welcome to our conversation. <laughs> yeah, today we're gonna pick up the conversation, take it sort of a notch higher. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna talk about intentional living. Yeah. So what do we mean by intentional living? Hmm. Well, I was just thinking, so we've been talking about the why and the reason why we do things and purpose. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you don't always know what your purpose is or not everything you do is tied to your purpose. Yeah. Um, it's not tied to the one thing, your career, your calling. But um, I've just noticed that Leon and I have sort of started gathering sort of like these underlying principles mm -hmm. that guide some of the decisions that we make. And they keep popping up slowly, slowly. And, and I think there's something about being intentional mm -hmm. about everything you do that really helps us especially when we are in a place where there's no you know sometimes the pros and cons are <laughs> equal yeah. for doing something then you just go back to your guiding principles and be like okay well does this hold strong to this and this value absolutely yeah. mm -hmm. and i think when we when we know the guiding principles that we do have in yeah. terms of life it makes um, decision making easy you know sometimes mm -hmm. you can be stuck and want be wondering yeah how what am i gonna do which decision am i gonna make in this yeah. in this particular space yeah um but when you know mm -hmm. your essence on what you're made of and what yeah. uh, your value system is you're mm -hmm. able to um to make choices and decisions quite quite easy yeah and so how has that influenced to you in terms of the day to day, because I, I know there's decisions that are grandiose that we, we want to mm -hmm. to make, yeah. but sometimes life is just in the yeah. day, day to day. Like life is lived in the present, in yeah, the now, in, in the, the small now. things. Yeah. Um, so how does that how has that influenced um, your decisions uh, on a day to day basis? Uh, I think one of the biggest things that um, I it was a life lesson that I've been learning and it's been a guiding principle, and we've sort of ended up picking it up is sustainability mm -hmm. and. <laughs> There's something about, especially because I'm like an extreme person, I like to go harm, I like to go in for things. And then I realize that I end up operating at levels that really don't become sustainable. Yeah. I burn out, I get tired of something or I give up. So mm -hmm. um, getting tired of living sort of like a year your lifestyle of on something, off something. Yeah. I started asking myself, is this sustainable? Mm -hmm. And it <clears throat> especially comes to things that um, I think I'm trying to make a change in or I'm trying to do and then I have to ask myself is this sustainable so like for example um, we decided to try and go low carb immediately so Leon is kind of like me which is funny which is why we have this pro thing yeah. so one day I'm texting and I'm sitting down and I'm like oh gosh we need to get healthier so I text Leon and he's like I think we need to go low carb dude is like keto keto <laughs> And so I'm like, no, it's not sustainable. So we actually tried doing keto. It lasted all for two seconds because we went shopping and the Kikuyu man saw potatoes. Hey, and I, <laughs> I was like, potatoes are, are carbs. He's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Waroos are vegetables. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I know it's, it's it, it can seem like something small, but we really try to emphasize sustainability uh, yeah. and it can come in small ways in terms of when we are thinking about committing to a small group, um, we ask ourselves, are we going to be able to sustain this? Can we continue with this in the long run? Mm -hmm. Because you also don't want to make commitments to people, to things. And then you find yourself sort of defaulting on yeah your commitments. Yeah, or selling yourself short so that you've you've you volunteer to do all these things and you've decided to try all these new things mm -hmm. and instead of four things getting a hundred percent of you getting you at your best yeah you end up with eight things that just get like ten percent of you because yeah. you can only give enough time this much time this much this much this much what are some of the other sort of um, things we've been using in terms of trying to determine yeah uh, our day-to-day -day decisions mm. Day to day, I think generosity. Generosity. Yeah. Um, how does that play out, especially? Um, I mean, because the bigger perspective of generosity is yeah. 
finances. People think generously they think mm-hmm. it's giving finances and mm-hmm. all that. Mm-hmm. But um, does that mean like you give every single day? Or <laughs> <laughs> how, how is generosity uh, applicable in a day to day life? Well, I think, okay, there is intentional generosity. So basically, we do have a budget for generosity, whether it's um, giving towards. Uh, churches that we're supporting or ministries that we're supporting, missionaries, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have that within our budget, allowances, percentages that we, we assign for sort of like regular generosity. Mm-hmm. But I think also we tend to um, also make space for spontaneous generosity. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you might find like, you know, we are Africans, someone had some sort of issues, this and this happened. and sometimes it just feels too lame to be like oh we've already finished sorry we ran out of generosity hit us up next yep, month yeah you have to till next month like yeah even god will be like um no yeah actually picture that if we went to god and god was like hey generosity <laughs> for this month has ended you come next month come next month but yeah. god is always like you know yeah. He owns a cattle on a thousand hills. Yeah. The earth and its fullness yeah. is his. Yeah. So whenever we are in need, whenever we need um, him to come through for us, we, mm-hmm. we can go and trust that he hears us. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. I think we should be the same sort of wellspring. Yes. Yeah. And, and I mean, it comes up in something small. You might even think like, sometimes we ask ourselves, okay, um, let's say if we give to this person, then maybe it just means that we don't buy snacks or wine for a week or two like we can live with that <laughs> or, or, or even we were gonna spend it on something stupid because everyone knows every month there's something that you spend on that is really stupid and you don't need it and yeah. it's okay so generosity but also um and this is something leon has taught me a lot is generosity with yourself with your time and with your um kindness mm-hmm. like you're really kind so I think um, generosity goes beyond just physical resources, but yeah. like even this home, um, we try to be very open to you know hosting people, people and things like that, and try to and try to make that part of our lifestyle. Mm. So what if we host a party and um, we spend too much, or I mean it's uncomfortable, or you have to spend like the whole next day cleaning up? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 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 It should be channels of, of hope and of love um, yeah. from God. Yeah. The other thing is stewardship. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, okay, some of them kind of link in together, yeah. but I think we are trying to be very intentional about being good stewards mm-hmm. of um, the, for example, like the resources that we have, whether it's um, our gifts and our talents, our <laughs> experience. Yeah our knowledge, our... Um, and this also ties in with, with generosity somehow. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you're a good steward of the thing that you've been given, you become, more, you gener- become more generous. Yeah. Yeah. And with me coming from like my academic background, there's something about people always wanting to keep like knowledge to themselves. And even Christians sometimes become like that. So it's really important for me that if you've been given this if you're yeah. gonna be a really good steward of like the knowledge, the wisdom, yeah. the the things that you've been given, then you find a way to share it out and mm-hmm. be generous with it. Yeah. So like that's part of the reason why we do the videos. Um, Leon and I are gifted in terms of like communications. Um, I'm good with blogging. He's like graphic design and all that stuff. And trying to use those gifts together mm. to bless other people. people. Yeah, and, absolutely. And even being intentional about being good stewards of our bodies mm-hmm. um, is part of the reason we've decided to start working out and things like that yep. yeah so yeah. I think there's a lot about um, acknowledging what it is that you have been gifted with yeah. and and really <coughs> trying to ensure that you make the most of it mm-hmm. and I think one of the biggest aspects that you kind of fail to see maybe if you don't know us that well or you don't know our journey is that okay we're like leon is a missionary i'm a student um we're not bowling <laughs> you, should, you should look at our bank account yeah and, and, and sometimes it's not sometimes all the time it's just god who comes through so 
it, it doesn't always make sense for us to be generous or for us to, you know, we can always end up sitting down and be like, I wish I had more. more I, yeah. I should have applied for this other job that would have given me this more money instead of being a church worker. And because we are sort of like understanding, like, for example, this is what I'm gifted in mm -hmm. um, and this is what God has called me to, then yeah. let me be faithful in this. Absolutely. Let me be... Let me appreciate this that I have mm -hmm. and share it with other people. Absolutely. No matter how small it is, it is there's, yeah. there's people making like much better videos uh, out yeah. in the world, but this is what we can do and this yeah. is what we have. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is what something I'd want us to sort of just um, end with. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why generosity stewardship will be a key thing for us is because, first of all, we understand that mm -hmm. we whatever we have, all this that we have, okay, yeah, isn't ours really. We're just mm. custodians of it. Yeah. It came from God. And if God is the one who graciously gave us, yeah. then we don't want to uh, hoard anything. Yeah. And this is one of the things like Dot has been talking about in terms of us being or people being rivers mm -hmm. like you don't hoard uh, like a dam you don't just collect stuff yeah. you're actually being a river and things are actually passing through you yeah and um, I think that's also what it ties in with sustainability we understand that um, mm -hmm. God is the one who actually sustains us mm -hmm. by his breath by his provision by each and everything mm -hmm. that you know he's given us yeah and so if you understand uh, that his own sustains us, mm -hmm. we're also be able to become good stewards. And therefore, whatever we do, mm -hmm. we're able to sustain it in a sense that we won't push ourselves to the point where, oh, yeah. yeah, because we're part out. of part of the reason why you push yourself so much, like you'd end up like over committing and everything. I think it comes from a superman mentality. Exactly, yeah. Like you want to do everything, you can mm -hmm. do everything. Mm -hmm. But sort of like when you understand that, okay, <laughs> it's not up to me to save the world. It's not up to me to Absolutely. be a hundred percent. Then, then you leave that to God, and you live a more sustainable life. Like His, His, His yoke is easy. Mm -hmm. His burden is light. light. His, His understanding is gracious. Absolutely. Yeah. All right then. Um, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Um, We'd, we'd love to know what your guiding principles are. What are some of the things that you sort of use to filter out mm -hmm. your day-to-day -day things? Mm -hmm. And I mean, we have a few more that we might probably discuss later on in this series. But yeah, tell us your why. Why? What are the guiding principles? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for now, we get a love you and leave you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>